What's up, everybody? It is I, Hero Vange, and welcome to my Weighted Timeless Cup uh, tournament. And this was held on Community Day by the Tambayan Express um, community. And as far as I know, this is the largest tournament held in the Philippines so far. I did bad. I did negative score. Like, this is probably my worst. This is my worst tournament so far. I had, like, a similar weighted cup in Season 1. But so far, uh, it, like, during this season, this has been my worst cup ever. Now, I think that there's a lot to learn from loss, right? Uh, Jimma Banks, losers learn. And it's actually still pretty early in the month, right? We're only, like, at half halfway point so there's still gonna be a lot of timeless cups uh to come like a lot of tournaments and so i'm gonna share with you my strat but i'm also gonna teach you what was wrong with my strat the weaknesses in the team comps that i had and also um how you could possibly like change this to make it something better so that you take this and you improve it and you know you maximize my effort here okay so losers learn and I'm gonna pass it off to you guys and hopefully you guys take it and you know get much better much better than me because uh, I'm actually pretty disappointed with this but we'll also talk about that later my first opponent is Nyepi and as you can see my Whiskash can take out Dragonair Blaziken and Frostlass it's CMP ties with Sileo and Whiskash which is a mirror my Whiskash only has one real problem and that is Victory Bell so this is the team comp that I typically go with it's a water lead that is very strong against my opponent so I have like three choices. I have Sileo, Whiskash, or uh, Kingdra, right? So usually typically that. And then I have Skuntank as an anti-grass uh, as a safe swap. And then I also have another anti-grass in the back, which in this case is Meganium. Because Meganium can kill uh, Victory Bell, Straight Earthquake, even with um, Sludge Bomb, as long as you block once, right? Even with Acid Spray, you block once. You've got that. Another anti-grass type that you can use in the back instead of Meganium is my Dragonair. Right, that's that's another choice, but it depends on what grass type my opponent has. If their grass type I can kill with my grass type, I typically go with Meganium because uh, most people have a lot of water types. Now, the problem with this team comp right here is that that Meganium I made on that day, right? It was community day, okay? I was excited, all right? I'm sure everybody was, okay? And I was thinking, okay. Statistically, Meganium is the much better uh, grass type, right? More people have won with Meganium compared to uh, people running Venusaur, right? But the thing is, for my team, if you take a look at my team, right? Okay, Whiskash, Sileo, Kingdra, and Meganium all lose to grass type, right? Tip typically, right? Because Meganium uh, isn't that great of a grass type killer, right? Venusaur is a much better. A Pokemon for my team and is a much better Pokemon for this team comp right here because Venusaur is a really hard counter to grass types. So with this team comp, I made it weaker because I gave in to <laughs> statistics, all right? But that's, you know, that's the burden of knowledge, all right? You know, I do this uh, to make all these videos and so I know a lot of stuff. I, I've analyzed so many tournaments and my mistake, okay? But for you, I really highly suggest you go with the Venusaur, all right? Let's see how we do. This right here is one of the worst battles I had this whole tournament, right? It's just like next level stupidity from me, all right? So take a look at this, okay? This matchup, you typically win one shield, one shield, okay? Now, he knows that uh, if he doesn't block, he can actually take the shield advantage, right? So instead of giving me the shield, like the uh, switch advantage, just purely the switch advantage, he's gonna opt not to block, right? And like an idiot, I... Oh my god, so I'm gonna block, right? Obviously, okay? And like an idiot, I just... Oh my god, I tried to farm down, and I... I got double blocked. I mean, well, I had to double block to protect that energy, right? Because that was a stupid move. And... Out comes Whiskash, alright? So what do I have in the back? Meganium, and I have no shields. Skuntank, Sk oh my god, and I have no shields. Alright, so Meganium was my, my hope, my, my prayer to win this match, but I don't have any shields. Alright? So RIP. There we go, that's it. That's basically match number one. There you go, I'm gonna get hit with a blizzard right here. Interesting thing, actually, uh, I survived, but you know. Did I really did I really survive? And then out pops Dragonair. I have no energy on my Skun Tank. I you you can win this match if you have some energy on your some energy on your friggin' Skun Tank and one shield. But I don't have both of those. Okay, so worst one of the worst matches in this whole entire tournament. Okay, GG. Good first game.
I suck. <laughs> Horrible first match, right? Probably one of the worst matches I've ever had, ever. But so I'm, I'm pretty confident that this will still work. I just have to play better, okay? So yeah, let's see how we do. All right, so the second match uh, starts off a lot like the first one, but the thing is, it's it's different, right? It ends up in like a different way, okay? So uh, I go Mud Bomb, straight Mud Bomb. He's gonna go straight Avalanche, like the first match. Um, I'm gonna block once, he's not gonna block to get the shield advantage, but this time, something different happens, and I think it's because he wasn't able to sneak in fast attacks in the in between like the charge moves like or during the charge moves right but yes so he's going to get to throw this i'm not going to block all right and then right here i get to farm him down so this is nice i get the mud bomb switch 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 advantage my english is like the worst right now okay but yes this is really nice so my skunt tank can pop out Farm up a little bit, okay? He's gonna swap to his Whiskash. I'm not gonna swap in my Meganium until I hit it just a little bit, okay? Just a little bit. And then now I can swap. So yeah, even if he has a Blizzard, let's say, I, I, I can just like farm him down. And then Victory Bell in the back is not that big of a threat, right? Not that big of a threat. I can go straight Frenzy, but I can go Earthquake if I wanted to. But you know, I, I want to burn those shields, all right? So uh, Frenzy Plant, he's pretty low. I don't know how that happened. I think it's because he was able to sneak in fast attacks in the first match. And so I wasn't able to... I don't know. And so it works out. I just really have to play better. That's it. I just have to play better. Let's see how we do. All right. So we start the match off with a different lead. This time it's Celio. So this is CMP based. And my opponent knows this because here I am. Q was saying. Uh, I try to go for the double mud bomb. All right. Because it's... Uh, I think it's like one or two after Blizzard. Something like that, right? And he was QSA, right? So he knows this. He doesn't want to get any fast attacks uh, to go through while you're throwing the charge moves, which I am doing right now, which he is getting, right? Which is bad for me, but something uh, weird happens. He actually... Wait one sec. He throw Water Pulse. That's weird. That's the, First of all, that's weird, okay? Because for me, Aurora Beam is the, the go-to because you want to have something to throw against the grass. He blocked that Mud Bomb, right? So he did. He 100% absolutely like had energy advantage uh because he was able to like get a couple of fast attacks through right but he also opted to block so yeah if i was if i was him like i would have been confident in not blocking and just go straight uh body slam but then something bad happens he has ah, blaze again and i do this stupid thing where i'm just like letting him farm up energy on my meganium um, and I'm still I'm, I'm still fighting enough. I mean, I could have like swapped a skun tank I could I just swap something else right some anything else Okay, and then I swap and the sad thing is when I swapped I realized that he could definitely have whiskash in the back, right? And that's that's it. That's basically GG. Okay. He's got whiskash. I've got a skun tank I could have I could have used that frenzy plan on this whiskash instead of throwing it at blaze again, right T to get a shield Right? I should have just like swapped to my Skun Tank, uh, fight off the uh, Whiskash as best as I could. Plus, that, that was a CMP tie. Do you see that? But he overcharged so that he could throw this. But yes, GG. Now, my next opponent, Yzma, has Pinsir and Charizard. And these two Pokemon are bad signs for C Leo and Whiskash. C Leo gets demolished by Charizard, straight Blast Burn, and can lose to Pinsir if it gets the close combat. And then with Whiskash against Pinsir, it's a shootout. If I can land the Blizzard, I can win. If not, I lose. With Charizard, I win straight Blizzard, but it, it takes a long time to charge up. And so Kingdra is really the best uh, generalist for his team because most of the stuff on his team I can kill, especially if I get the Octazooka debuff, except for Victory Bell. Now, the thing is, the two Pokemon in the back, Skuntank and uh, Dragonair, it seems like I'm running like a double Dragon Strat, but I want you to think of this in like a different way. It's a double anti-grass, right? Because Dragonair does kill Victory Bell, all right? So, let's see how we do. Me and Yisma had to have one restart uh, before this, but I don't think it really mattered, all right? So, we go Pinsir versus Kingdra. This is actually a fantastic lead I'm going to. This one right here, I knew it was a... Uh, X Scissor, but I don't know. I just I just felt that I had to block so that I could maximize the effect of Octazooka just in case um, I get the debuff. That means that, oh, and I did get the debuff, right? So I don't have to worry about whatever this is. It's a close combat. That type of thing. I just want to like, block the first thing because I hadn't gotten off the debuff. 
right? So, yes. Also, at this point, they hadn't updated the game yet with the debuffs uh, disappearing when you swap out, right? So, yes, that debuff is stuck on that pins here, right? So, plus it's almost dead anyway. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter that much. Okay, so I get off the crunch to kill the victory bell. Nice. Uh, I have, like, a decent amount of health on my skun tank. I throw a crunch. Is he gonna block? Let's see. He opts to block, and then I swap to my dragon air, and that's basically it, right? This is, you know, a pretty clear win. He is gonna get to hit me with one dragon claw because he did um, farm down my my skun tank, but it's not gonna be enough to kill my dragon air, right? He's gonna opt to swap right here to, to try to catch the aqua tail, and then yeah, he just ends up giving me more energy. But yeah, it is it is what it is, right? GG. All right, so we have the same lineup for round two. We also had another restart for this round, but again, it didn't really matter. Let's see how we do. The way this uh, match ends really sucks. I hate it when this certain thing happens, but we'll talk about it, alright? So I swapped to my Skun Tank because he had a better lead. Uh, he swaps in Charizard. Um, it's not that It's not that bad, alright? He blocks the first thing. I could go for a Sludge Bomb for the kill, but I was thinking... Ah, uh, uh, I don't know. Maybe that's a waste of energy. It is a really squishy Pokemon, right? I go for the uh, the crunch and he double blocks. I'm like, all right, you know what? I'll take I'll take this uh, advantage here. He actually threw a dragon claw and not a blast burn, but that was actually pretty smart because he was able to get some energy. Right? That's gonna be crucial later. All right, so he, he's gonna throw. I am uh, gonna opt not to block it. It does a lot of damage. I swap immediately to my second uh, safe swap or basically like my my other anti grass because he's uh, switch locked. Right? So yeah, this is a good opportunity. So he's gonna throw. And um, right there, I make a horrible mistake. I blocked. I blocked the acid spray. I could. Oh my god, that's just. <sighs> that really sucks. You know, that's something that I definitely like hate. And out comes Lapras, and in comes my Kingdra, which is super low. And yeah, I I don't think it would have mattered actually. Honestly, I don't think. Nah. Alright, so I'm swapping the flow, and as you can see, Dragonair is my lead because I was anticipating the Victory Bell lead, right? Kingdra's in the back for Lapras. All I have to do is block the uh, Skull Bash and, or maybe, you know, hopefully get the Octazuga debuff uh, for the kill. And Skuntang is also a good swap in for Lapras if ever it swaps in on me, right? So that type of thing. It's more like a Lapras hunting set type of thing, right? But we'll see. Honestly, I think my friend Yisma really like outplayed me and you are gonna see, well, the second match, he completely like outplayed me, right? But this, he also outplayed me. It, it actually is pretty close, you'll see it at the end, but like the way that he's been playing recently has definitely been like a level up uh, from like my previous experiences with him. He's getting much better, okay? So anyways, so Lapras. Uh, swapped in and I swapped in my skun tank. This is kind of like to my disadvantage, but he did block the first thing So I'm gonna go for the sludge bomb right here to go for like the Hail Mary kill, right? Let's see what he does He blocked it. All right, so he double blocked his Lapras. He realizes that I'm using double dragon and uh, Yeah, he's keeping that thing safe in the back. He could have Charizard. So I'm like, you know what? Let me farm up uh, some energy with my Kingdra, plus I, I resist Surf, like I resist it more than Dragon Air does, right? Because Water Dragon, right? Yeah. And uh, yeah, and then he swaps in his Victory Bell. He's keeping his Lapras alive still, okay? Which is not, not a bad idea because he can use it as like a third shield type of thing later on, okay? So anyways, I'm gonna farm down and I have so much energy. I have two Aqua Tails. I decide to throw one Aqua Tail because I forgot how much HP this thing had. I could have farmed it down. Maybe. Actually, I don't know. Okay, I get off an Aqua Tail and he's... Oh my god, this is just... This is bad, alright? He's gonna farm me down. I get to the Aqua Tail. I couldn't throw it. And he has... <gasps> oh my god, the Dragon Claw. GG. Outplayed. Alright, we're two in the hole. My next opponent, J Pips is a crucial match because if I lose, I'm gonna be three in the hole. <laughs> and he has Venomoth and Skuntank, which I can kill with my Whiskash. Whiskash is a mirror uh, match, and Sileo is a CMP tie. Kingdra, I, I lose straight Octazuka, but the thing is, it's not that bad. It's actually like super close. Meganium is the only real problem, but again, since it has Vine Whip, I can kind of try to 
place my Whiskash in an energy advantage position and try to kill it with a blizzard. Back to the strats, let's just talk for a sec, alright? So we're back with this double anti-grass type thing, right? Now you saw earlier I did Kingdra at the lead, okay? See, the problem with Kingdra and Dragonair is they actually take a long time to charge up their moves. Actually together, they're kind of like the slowest Pokemon in this meta. Now you do get that DPS from the Dragon Breath, but my team is obviously like not set up like that. It's more of a uh, more of a chucker shield pressure type situation, right? And this was something that I failed to realize before this tournament because they had the meta shift uh, two days before this tournament, right? And I actually um, had to rush my meta simplified guide and it took me like less than 24 hours, but I still had to rush it, cram it. And so with Kingdra, Dragonair, like that lineup with Skuntank, I didn't really get to practice it. And it's actually one of the weakest lines that I have. You'll see that um, whenever I run that, it's like a 50 50 thing. It depends if I get like the Octa debuff imagine depending on a coin flip for your win right that's basically like what that is if you get the octazuka debuff it's it's a 50 percent chance i think that kingdra is not that great not as great as it seems okay because of the octazuka debuff type thing because it is a 50 percent um thing also i don't think that dragonair is a good anti-grass type Pokemon because it takes so long for it to kill them, especially against Razor Leapers. And you're gonna see in this tournament that uh, my Dragonair is basically like a liability for my team, all right? But we'll talk about it when it happens. I'm just giving you like, I'm just laying the groundwork, all right? So I'm using Whiskash, uh, Skuntank, Dragonair. Let's see how we do. You know, I really wish I had more time to prepare for this tournament. I feel like my my team was just like out of sync. You know, some Pokemon were really more focused on fast attacks. Other Pokemon were more focused on charge attacks. I just felt that the synergy was way off. Plus, I didn't really get to practice Kingdra that much. I didn't really get to practice Meganium that much. Like, Meganium I made on the day. So I really... Now, why did I swap in my Dragonair instead of my Skuntang? Well, the reason why is because Meganium can kill Dragonair, right? And since, it, you know, Calm D just hit, so this is probably a good IV uh, Meganium. So it can probably, like, double Earthquake me to death. Or, you know, at the, at the very end, when the pressure is really high, he's probably gonna get the Shield Bait on me, right? So... I was thinking I'd have a much better chance if I had my Skun Tank, right? So that type of situation. So here I'm just farming down. He swaps in his Meganium on my Whiskash. I get the Blizzard. It's dead, all right? But the thing is, and this is gonna really, really suck, he has Whiskash. He has Whiskash. So his, his team comp was Meganium, friggin' Sileo, and Whiskash. <laughs> Dang! Dang! Like I'm, I that that's just completely uh, countering like my whole lineup, right? So at up front I had Whiskash, right? In the back I had Dragonair and Skun Tank. Y you see what I'm saying? If I had swapped in my Skun Tank, he would have swapped in his Whiskash. If I swapped in my Dragonair, he would have swapped in his Sileo. So he basically had like two like perfect counters to my swap ins. So this is a horrible, horrible situation, man. I yeah 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 yeah. There's really like nothing to do. Okay, so GG. And so we're going back to the tried and tested Skuntank, Sileo, Whiskash. This only works if your opponent has a Vine Whip Grass type. All right, if if your opponent has a Razor Leafer, don't even try. Do not even try. Let's see how we do. All right, so we start the match off with Sileo lead. All right. We got this. We know what to do. We swap in the mirror match. I start farming up. Okay. He's far he waited too long to swap. So I'm gonna get off an Aurora Beam. I can go back to back, right? And it lands. So I'm like, alright, body slam spam to pressure. Alright, so throw the body slam. He's going to block it. Alright. He's gonna throw a frenzy plant. This is this is fantastic, right? And then I'm just going to uh, go for another one. I'm not taking any chances here. I'm not a no, 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 no taking chances. Straight kill it. He blocked again. I'm like, all right, that's fine. That's fine. Block again. And actually, instead of taking that energy, I swap to my Skun Tank to give it some energy, right? Because Skun Tank works much better with just a little bit of energy, right? And then out comes Venomoth. And I'm like, yes, yes, thank you. All right, good, wonderful, beautiful, right? He's gonna throw a uh, Silver Wind. Yes, it does a lot of damage, but yes. Actually, I could kill it, like, right there, but I decided to, like, not kill it because I knew in the back he had Sileo, right? So, just farm down a little bit, and then I can get off a couple of body slams before it gets to my Whiskash so that it's not 
like super close, right? I get the, the like the HP advantage. He throws his energy as well, which is fantastic, right? He's not going to let me uh, throw uh, more body stamps. He's really just gonna go straight, like kill my my Celio. So this is fantastic, right? I've got the HP advantage. I've got a fresh Whiskash, and this is like a CMP tie type situation at the end. Uh, but yeah, that's. Yeah, I mean, it's. I'm just gonna need one more mud bomb, and that's gonna be it. Okay, he gets he throws the Aurora Beam, that's fine. Honestly, I'm just super relieved, right? I'm just I'm just happy that this <laughs> this happened because I was like this close to being 0-3. But am I actually gonna win the next battle, right? It still depends on the next battle. I've still got, you know, this same uh team comp. This one I've practiced so much, right? Like so so much. And so I'm very confident in this. As long as there's no razor leafer, I can kind of run this and most of the time pull off the win, all right? Now, there's some key things. You have to look out for um, Blaziken, right? That's one, plus a Razor Leafer. Okay, that's a, that's the second thing. And then, when your C. Leo swaps in, you have to make sure, or like, pr hope and pray that your opponent does not swap out before four, this is, this is very important, four fast attacks, right? So you go in, one, two, three, four Powder Snows, and then if the Meganium swaps in or like the Venusaur swaps in, you can go Aurora Beam, block Aurora Beam, okay? If you land it, if you land the Aurora Beam, if it's a Venusaur, it's dead, right? If, if it's a Meganium, go Body Slam Spam. If you don't get the 1, 2, 3, 4 Powder Snows before your opponent swaps out, you have to bait. You have to bait the Body Slam and hope that they block it or you just have to make tr like try your very best to get the Aurora Beam, alright? So yeah, let's see how we do. The signing match very scary it's the same lead all right we know what to do swap in the mirror match one two three four and it just keeps going and he throws i'm like all right he's waiting for me to throw my energy you know what i'm not throwing my energy but then he throws again so i'm like is this a, this is a bad sign does he have double dragon in the back i forgot his his like team but you can see he doesn't have double dragon i was, I was thinking does he have double dragon in the back that's bad all right but I throw my, my two body slams and he actually swaps right here on the third body slam to Meganium. So I'm like, okay, that's actually really good because the swap tray is gone. I mean, the, the switch clock is gone. So I can swap to my hard counter and now I'm lined up. This is freaking, um, this is great. Okay, this is just the best case scenario I could have possibly asked for. He throws the earthquake. I blocked it. Fantastic. And yeah, we're, we're like... Lined up really well. I have a shield, you know. I have a skun tank, pretty still, like pretty healthy. He has Kingdra in the back. Like my C Leo is not dead yet. Okay. Plus I have Whiskash, uh, fresh. This is this is great. So I swap in my C Leo so that I could try to get the body slam right here. I'm not blocking because my Whiskash needs that shield for his C Leo in the back. Right. I'm just like making it a short thing here. He threw the Octazooka and it wasn't enough to kill me, so I was able to kill his Kingdra. Unfortunately, his uh, C. Leo got some energy, but the thing is, he threw that energy, which is fantastic. And now, I've got a fresh Whiskash. His C. Leo is at half health at this point, right? And I've got a shield. Good game. Good game. That was a very, very good game. I was so scared, <laughs> you know? Um, I've gone... Uh, zero 02, but I've never gone zero 03, right? But I was so, so friggin' scared. Get off this mud bomb. GG. Thank you for the battles. Great battles. Intense. My next opponent, Rex, has the scariest team I encountered this whole tournament. He's got Ivysaur and Victory Bell. That freaked me out. He's got two grass types, right? And one of them, yes, I can kill with uh, my Meganium Victory Bell, but the other one, Ivysaur, it depends on the moveset, right? If it has a Vine Whip, Sludge Bomb, no. Definitely not. With Razor Leaf, maybe? Maybe? But I wasn't sure at this, this point in time. I didn't want to cheat and check, like, uh, PV Poke. So what I did was, I just had the double anti-grass in the back, right? Hope and pray that my Kingdra picks up a good lead so that I don't have to sacrifice my 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 Skun Tank and maybe get walled by Whiskash because he might be running um double grass in like a sandwich format. If he had Victory Bell, right? And then Whiskash to, to counter my, my Skun Tank safe swap, and then Ivysaur in the back. That's 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 a bad situation. Yeah. <laughs> 
wait for it. That's not the punchline. There you go. It happened to me. It happened to me. And I just, I felt so bad, dude. I was like, oh my God, I got predicted. At this point, I'm still not sure. I'm still not sure. You know, maybe it's not a victory bell in the, maybe it's, it's not, it's probably not a victory bell. Would he have the nut sacks, the balls to run double uh, grass types? We'll see, we'll see. All right, so I'm gonna pull out the Kingdra, get some energy, right? I can tank a couple of mud bombs. All right, he's gonna throw mud bomb. Cool. Get some. Oh, that was that was just lag. That was just lag. All right. So yes, uh, tank a couple of mud bombs. All right, uh, and he gets another one. That this he had the energy. Yes, of course. All right. So he did farm down my scun tank. So I decided to block, and he gets a third one. Yep. If I didn't block one of these, I would be dead. Okay. Straight farm down. What does he come out with? Let's see. It is a victory bell. A victory, victory bell. <laughs> yes, I got the Octazooka debuff. Now swap out. Still, he has, he has um, Ivysaur in the back, and I blocked the Leaf Blade, and he has Ivysaur in the back, and this thing is tanky, right? That would not have happened if that was a Venusaur. That would be dead. But Ivysaur, super tanky. I could have saved the shield for that instead of the Leaf Blade. And yes, well played, sir. Well played, GG. And so we're moving on to this team comp, which is just three Pokemon that are not weak to grass types. All right, let's see how we do. All right, so we start the matchup with a fantastic lead matchup. Still the same lead. Is it the same team comp, though? I'm hoping. I'm praying that it's the like double grass type thing, the sandwich type situation that he's got, right? So I'm throwing Aqua Tail. He's not blocking, so I'm not gonna block. Let's see how much damage a Sludge Bomb does. Sludge Bomb does a lot of damage a lot of damage and actually it was pretty close but the thing is he swaps out to his victory bell and i'm like yes yes i was still scared right because he might still have sunny cast form in the back i still have, i have meganium in the back but he blocked my crunch there so i was thinking you know what what if what if i get my meganium to get like a little bit of energy right extra and then kind of like throw an earthquake it, it'll probably kill the cast form right it, it's actually pretty tanky right but i mean i've got two shields i've got like all the advantages right now okay so he pops out with his ivysaur this is a good opportunity to get that extra energy i'm gonna block this for sure sludge bomb that thing charges up so fast it's crazy dude it had so much energy okay and then out comes whiskash yes this is fantastic, okay? GG, excellent battles. This right here is just a flow swap, right? I just swapped to my Meganium as the lead, but it's still the same Pokemon. It's three Pokemon that are not weak to grass types, right? Let's see how we do. Actually, I started to regret leading with Meganium because I thought that he might lead with Ivysaur again, but when I saw Celio, I was so, so happy, right? It's a close match. He can get off the Aurora Beam, but I was prepared to double shield, right? He swapped out to his Ivysaur. I swapped to my Skuntank. This is great. This is fantastic. This is like the best case scenario right now, right? No Whiskash. No, like, to hunt my, my Skuntank down. Basically, when his wish, Whiskash, I can speak English, gets to my Skuntank, if ever he does have it, right? It's gonna be low HP, okay? So, yes. Uh, I block because I want to keep that uh, switch advantage, all right? And then, he pops up with the Celio. I throw the uh, Crunch. Uh, to get a lot of damage, nice. And he throws his energy, I'm not blocking, no blocking, all right. And then uh, he gets one fast attack, but I was counting my butt off and I was paranoid, right? So this definitely could be an Aurora Beam. It seems like it's not because you're forgetting like the first couple of fast attacks that he got like at the, at the start, right? But I blocked because I was paranoid. And then out comes the Victory Belt. I'm like, yes, actually made a, mi made a mistake um, here. I should have just gone like straight Frenzy Plant, right? But, you know, shield, shield pressure's nice, okay? I still got to the Frenzy Plant, but I could've gone like Frenzy Plant, Frenzy Plant, swap to um, a Dragonair, and uh, yeah. Because any amount of damage is just, like, it's great because Dragonair does uh, most of its damage with the fast attacks, right? So yes, I get the Aqua Tail. He says that it was a, a CMP tie, uh, but yeah. <laughs> great battles, man. Thank you, GG. Now my next opponent. Howler1004 has a team that is pretty weak to Kingdra. It beats uh, Blaziken, Whiskash, and Dragonair. It can beat Mok and Sileo, depending on Octazooka debuff. And its only problem is Victory Bell. And so we've got this team comp, but again, I don't think this is a good team comp. But you're gonna see Octazooka debuff 
and it's like best best case scenario in these next battles first of all like i want to apologize to sir howler like I honestly did him dirty in these battles. You will see it is disgusting, alright? Anyways, I catch him on the lead, he swaps his victory bell, and then I swap to my skun tank. It's that's that's basically like GG. Like if this happens to you in a game, that's GG, alright? But you're gonna see it's even worse. It's even worse than you think, okay? So yeah, but but this is again um Octazuka in its best form, right? So I know that Victory Bell's gone, nothing else on his team really gives um, Kingdra like massive problems. Just in case there's a, a, a C Leo in the back, I'm going to use my Dragonair, it's a Whiskash. I'm like, alright, cool, that's fine, I'm gonna take a Mud Bomb and then swap to my Kingdra, alright? Farm up, I'm gonna go for the Octazooka right here, I'm gonna block because I still haven't thrown the debuff yet. If I get the debuff, then I take significantly less damage, right? So, it's much better to block when you haven't thrown the Octazooka yet, right? So yes, and I got the debuff, right? But, he's gonna get to one Mud Bomb, alright? One Mud Bomb, okay, I'm gonna, I'm just gonna farm down, right? I'm gonna farm down. He gets to another Mud Bomb, it looks like I'm about to die, right? But it's not enough. That is crazy. And I have enough for another Octazooka. I throw it. He obviously has to block. And then I get another one. And it really doesn't matter because like my Dragonair has this. But that was disgusting. GG. Octazooka debuff when it triggers is amazing. It is so good. But the thing is, is it gonna trigger? Right? That's the question. Again, these battles um, showcase like the best of the best um, case scenario when it comes to Octazooka debuffs. But yeah, let's see how we do. Alright, so we start a matchup with a matchup that you can only win if you get the Octazooka debuff, right? This is one of those. Uh, you can go straight Octazooka uh, for the kill though. Um, you definitely have to go for the second Octazooka because it is so close. Super duper close. I throw and I got it. I got it, right? So he's gonna throw again. He's he's trying to like make the most out of like uh, his Leo. so he's throw in um, Aurora Beam and then he also gets to a Body Slam so you know it was smart that he threw the Aurora Beam right at least he got that that energy off but it's definitely like not enough to kill my Kingdra I throw the second Octazooka and it's dead right switch advantage fantastic pops out with Victory Bell I have Skun Tank there it is guys there it is it's a GG right it's a GG okay so I'm gonna farm he's gonna pop out with uh, Blaze again I throw the Crunch just to do some damage to it because it does have some energy now okay it's not very effective, but it does a lot of damage, right? A lot of, like, crazy amount of damage, okay? Throws the Blaze Kick. I didn't need to block it, but, you know, it is what it is. Just keeping my Dragonair healthy. I throw the Aqua Tail. Yeah, this is this is a GG, right? And, again, I just want to apologize to Howler. I, I want to apologize to everybody who got hit with the Octazooka debuff. I really think that Niantic needs to look at this move, right? Like, it's, it's super good, but it's also super bad, right? So... I just got three Octazooka debuffs. It's probably not gonna happen again. Statistically, like the universe isn't just gonna give me that, right? So I'm gonna go Whiskash, all right? Instead of Kingdra, it's, you know, more sure battles uh, compared to like Kingdra's Octazooka type situation, right? I can QSA for the win against uh, C Leo. So, you know. Let's see how we do. Doesn't winning with the Octazooka debuff make you feel like super dirty? It makes me feel like pretty dirty. I'm like, I won because of luck. That sucks. But it's but it is what it is, right? I mean, it is what it is. There's some stuff in the game that is, you know, very luck based, and this is. But this is like 50% for minus two attack stages. That's a little bit. Mm, right and then you get to sometimes you start to feel oh that's a very reliable amount you know 50 percent that's like a coin flip i can you know i can risk it for the biscuit and whenever you do you lose <laughs> you lose because you 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 put weight on that 50 percent chance which is how i feel about it so i don't think that it's a very reliable move I feel like it's a, a dirty dirty like disgusting way um to win but it is what it is. It's in the game, right? It, we'll see. Hopefully, they rebalance it. Or hopefully... I, I don't know. I honestly don't. <laughs> I don't. How do you feel about it? Okay, comment down below. Okay, he's gonna pick up this win. Uh, very smart uh, playing. Uh, I threw the uh, crunch, right? He's, he's saving the Westcash in the back. Very, very smart. Okay, he doesn't block. 
Okay, pulls out the Whiskash. I think I, I could have like farmed up a little bit more energy, I guess, on the mock and uh, maybe made this a much better uh, match, I guess, maybe. I, I might have taken like a charge attack if ever. So yeah, and then he farms me down and now he has like a lot of energy. He's gonna throw one Marwa. I, ha I have to block for sure, right? Because I'm in almost KO range and then right here, he's gonna get another one. Well played, well played. See, that's with without the Octazooka debuff, Howler. Good PvP player, Octazuka debuff. It's just gross, right? It's gross. My next opponent, Furanzu, has a Vine Whip, a uh, Grass type, Venusaur. He has no Blaze again, and he has no Razor Leaf for extra, like secondary Grass type. So we've got the tried and tested Skun Tank, Sileo, Whiskash. All right, you understand how it works? I'm pretty sure it's a very, very solid team comp. Let's see how we do. All right, so we start the match off with Skun Tank versus Sileo. You know what to do. We're gonna swap to the mirror match. I'm gonna start farming up. That's more than four powder snows for sure. So I start to QSA, right? We're getting to the point where we're like way getting close to like a hundred energy. So I'm like, ah, you know what? Throw the energy. It is what it is. You know, I'll pick it up later. All right. He throws the body slam and he gets a double, right? Wow. Okay. QSA skills on point. All right. So I'm just going. And actually, like, like some fast attacks went through on mine. So that's. <laughs> Skills, garbage. All right, so, you know, throwing straight body slam, I can get this thing like pretty low. It is gonna kill me. I'm like not gonna give the shield advantage, but um, I'm gonna set up my skun tank with some energy. He's gonna throw his energy. Fantastic, not gonna risk it. Okay, he wants that switch advantage. All right, so one of the signs that your opponent is running double dragon in the back is if he doesn't swap out of his C-Leo, right? If you, if you go mirror, right? You're swapping your C-Leo and then he doesn't swap out. That's a sign that um, he's running double dragon. Now the thing is, you wanna set up your uh, skun tank with some energy, that's why I swapped it in, so that it could get some energy, so that it can do this. Now why did I swap in my, my Whiskash? Because Kingdra beats Whiskash, so I kinda like want to either one, set up my Whiskash with some energy before, let's say, Kingdra swaps in, right? So if it swaps in, I can get like multiple, like maybe one more extra mud bomb might kill the Kingdra, right? But yeah, it also, I guess, depends on if I get the Octazooka debuff or kill this Dragonair with my Whiskash. See, the thing is he double blocked, so I knew that the Dragon Pulse was coming. But the thing is, I blocked that first charge attack that it threw, which was Aqua Tail, right? So this is bad. Kingdra, when shields are down, super dangerous, like mega dangerous. And uh, yeah, I mean, actually, like with this gun tank, Octazooka is all it needs to kill me. Right now it's super close. It's like a race to fast moves. It lags a little bit. I don't think it really mattered. I don't. I didn't see any extra damage, right? So I don't think any fast attacks went through. But <sighs> mud shot compared to dragon breath DPS wise, I mean, it's not even a competition, right? Like dragon breath obviously like takes it. Even if I did have like probably more HP than the two of them combined, but their damage output, right? So I decided to risk it. For the biscuit with the Octazooka debuff. It'll it'll prob probably happen, alright? Let's see how we do. This match actually I lose because of straight up stupidity, right? Straight up dumb idiotic plays, right? I threw the Octazooka thinking that I could outspeed Aqua Tail. Aqua Tail Bro! <laughs> right? Bro. <laughs> And now I'm down one shield. My Kingdra is just energy for this Sea Leo, and that is it, guys. That is it. GG, GG. I, I, I was, I was still like betting on it. Maybe I can get it. Oh my God, that is painful. That is painful to watch, right? But yeah, GG, GG, France, man, France. You got me good, bro. Like you got me. I, I mean, I, I play like an idiot. I think it's a horrible idea to bet on this 50% chance, it's still a 50% chance, right? Think about it in a pessimistic way, not in an optimistic way, okay? It's a 50% chance for you to get it. If you don't get it, you have to have like a backup plan. And obviously like I don't have a backup plan for that because I never really got to practice that much with my Kingdra. I also didn't really get to practice that much with my, my Meganium. And so, yeah, man, I just, Ah, I wish I played better, right? If I just ah, played better, GG. I feel like I got blinded by the hype of the new moves, right? 
like with Kingdra, Octazooka, plus with Meganium, with the statistics. For sure, like I got blinded. I just thought that I could play it, play it because I understand the Sims really well. But I, you really need that actual battle experience. That is crucial. Okay, never believe anybody who says that you can you can learn Pokemon Go PvP just running Sims. No. No! Okay, you have to practice. You have to have like a deep understanding of these Pokemon and like have multiple backup plans if ever, you know, things don't go your way, especially like with certain um, risky percent based things like Octazooka, like uh, other buffs, debuffs type thing. If it's not a sure thing, do not bet on it. Have a backup plan that, you know, you can, you can fall back on. That's really like the lesson here. All right, don't be like me. Let's see how we do. All right, so we start the match off with... This is a good match. This is a good match for me. All right, I can straight Octazooka this thing uh, for the kill. And, you know, I, I should have blocked right here. Again, you have to maximize, you know, the chance that you're you're gonna get the debuff, right? If you get the debuff, fantastic. You take significantly, like, less damage. So you should have blocked that first thing, right? Right here, I'm still not blocking because, you know, now I did get the debuff, but he does something really smart. He swaps to his Dragonair and deletes my Kingdra. I needed that Kingdra to kill the Whiskash. And now my Skuntank is quivering in the back. He is scared, alright? He is very, very scared of chocolate. He is allergic to chocolate. Fortunately for me, I was able to get him super duper low. I tried to go for that Aqua Tail. It just like would not happen. I'm actually scared that he's gonna get off another Mud Bomb. I got one, like maybe two Poison Jabs, and out comes Kingdra. Obviously, I'm gonna need to block, right? I can kill this guy. Ish. I... Ish. Just please don't get the debuff. <laughs> Good battles! Great battles, friends. Excellent work, GG. Moving on to the final opponent, owned by Leia. This is my final boss battle for this tournament. I have three wins, three losses. I'm scared. I am... Uh. And it was laggy. It was so laggy. Like, out of all the people that I battled, we had the most restarts. Actually, like, out of all the, the battles I've ever had in, in Pokemon Go PvP tournaments, this was the most restarts I've ever had. I think we had, like, a total of, like, 15 battles. That's not exaggerating. Like, we had to restart over and over and over again. And so the team comp, since he has the Blaziken Victory Bell, I cannot run the tried and tested Skun Tank, Sealeo Whiskash. And since he has Blaziken, I cannot run my Sealeo. And so I used Kingdra. For all three matches, this was my team comp. This is a risky team comp, and I don't think that it's very reliable. It's not good, right? Oh my god. What a stupid, stupid boy. Let's see how we do. So for all these matches, just assume that we had a restart, alright? So, Kingdra, Blaze again. Fantastic lead. Amazing lead. Now he pulls out Tileo. I am just praying for the Octazooka debuff. No, I I was looking. Do I have anything else that can kill this thing? Bruh, this is bad. Why not swap in the Skuntank? Well, the thing is, he has his grass type in the back, right? And I was just, I was hoping that I could get the Octazooka debuff so that I could have my Skuntank lined up to his victory bell, but that did not happen because I put my bet on something that has a chance and this really sucks. So I'm gonna farm down. That's the best that I can do. Farm down and I, I... I don't know why I keep doing this. I throw it on the blaze again. I don't know why I keep doing that. I, did, I just... Just swap out, bro. Swap out. Right? Just swap out. D don't take the extra counter. D don't give it any energy. And now there's a huge load on my Dragonair. Right? I have to kill this plus whatever was left of the blaze again. Alright? Mm, am I gonna be able to do it? Ah, it's a CMP tie, and I lose, and I lose. So that's the game number one, CMP tie, and I lose, all right? I could have saved that, cr the crunches, I could have saved, oh my god. Match two, same team comp, me and him 
were the last people to report the outcome because we had multiple restarts over and over and over again. First match, second match, third match, multiple restarts. And honestly, for the restarts, it was back and forth. It was some of the most intense battles that I've ever had. Like, my ears were, were hot. <laughs> my ears, guys. Not just my eyes, my ears were hot. Sometimes he would win, he would be so close to winning, and then he would lag, right? And we'd have to restart. And then sometimes I would be so close to winning, and then uh, I'd have to restart, right? It's just mm, frustrating, all right? But let's see how we do. All right, match number two, see Leo. All right, I am just hoping, praying, for the Okazuka debuff, please give this to me. Please give this to me. I really need it. We had multiple restarts already. Sometimes I would get it, sometimes I wouldn't. And I did not get it on the match that counted. All right, so I'm not blocking. Go ahead, body slam me down. It's all good. I'm going to take the energy advantage because that's the only thing that I can take, honestly. That's the only thing. Not gonna give the shield advantage as well, right? So, okay, farm down. Right, cool. I'm gonna block. I'm not gonna block. I'm not gonna block. I, I'm not gonna block. No, I wasn't gonna give the shield advantage. All right. Why did I say that weird? And now out comes Dragonair. Well, you know what? This is not too bad, right? Usually Blaziken pops out, and then Crunch is kind of like a waste of energy. But this is not bad. This is not bad, right? Okay, block once. Good that I didn't give the shield advantage earlier. I throw the Crunch, and it is going to take it. It's super low. Swap out. Delete it. Right, it's gone. And now it's Victory Bell 1v1, finally clear match on my Dragonair. Guys, there were like multiple restarts again. Okay, there were times when he was about to take it, and this one, I find. Wow, I. Yes! Yes! Alright, also, same with the first match. There were like times when I would take it, and then match number three. Again, multiple restarts, same team comp. I feel like an idiot going through these matches over again because. Whiskash would have been a much better choice, right? Because CMP tied with C Leo, and then like he likes to lead with Blaze again. I don't know why I didn't see it then. My ears were hot, right? <laughs> it's funny to say that. But let's see how we do. Alright, we're gonna start off with Blaze again. Fantastic lead matchup. He's gonna swap out, obviously, right? But he's mastered this into C Leo. Okay, I'm gonna go for the buff. The debuff, I mean, please. No. The answer is no. There were a couple of times when I that I did get it, but lag. Lag happens, people, and that really sucks. He gets off a double body slam. He's got like a, a healthy chunk left on that <sighs> thick C Leo. <laughs> obviously, I'm not gonna use my Dragon Air, right? Obvi uh, obviously, right? I'm gonna farm down with my Skun Tank. He's gonna get to a body slam. He's actually gonna get to two body slams. So it's not like it's not exactly like the first match, right? Yeah, I need to block. I definitely need to block, right? And right here, I should have just swapped out, man. Just swap out. He swapped in his Blaziken. I know that he swapped in his Blaziken. He swapped blocks. I could have gotten his Blaziken with my Dragonair, but my ears were hot. <laughs> that's just, that's, that's my excuse for everything right now. G guys, what can I do? My ears were hot. <laughs> I just wasn't thinking clearly. I was playing like garbage and now he still has his C Leo. I need to make sure they get this dragon. No, no, dude, no, no, dude. He gave me some energy, but it's not enough. GG. And so my weighted tournament ends with three wins and four losses my first negative score for this season right last season i got i also got one for the nightmare cup and this is actually like a meta that i really like i love the timeless cup man it's so good right the nightmare cup was bad i hated it okay this one i actually really liked it but i was unprepared right i had a bunch of weak lineups right that were untested and i i kept betting i kept betting on the Octazooka debuff, don't do the same, right? Do not do the same, you have time. Well, I, I hope you have time. I hope your weighted cup didn't end already, right? I, you have time to prepare. You have to like time to think about certain things and I hope that my feedback gave you something to work on. Do not bet on the Octazooka debuff, please. It's just an extra thing. Like whenever you're making your choices, don't 
don't factor it in. Big shout out to the Tambayan Express uh, tournament organizers and sponsors. I still had a lot of fun even if I did horribly, right? Well, I mean, not it's not super uber bad, but pretty bad, okay? Now, I just want to throw this out there. This community is kind of like the the pillar for Pokemon Go PvP here in the Philippines. It's like the, the biggest, most massive tournaments. And the prize for this Christmas um, tournament was a Switch. A Nintendo Switch. So many people came. <laughs> so many people came. And I, I'm pretty sure so many people got wrecked. <laughs> got wrecked. But yeah, I mean, it made a lot of people happy, right? I, I actually won... Uh, a raffle prize. At least I. At least I got that. <laughs> but these guys are making like the moves uh, to support PvP to make it like a fun thing, to make it like a super hype thing. And yeah, you know the community thanks you. Big shout out to the very nice people from the Dual Catchmon, which is like a Go Plus except it's for two phones. And it's automatic, right? It automatically catches, automatically spins, Pokestops. It's a very, very good way to make the grind lighter because I understand that grind, guys. It's it's a grind, yes? Especially with Go Battle uh, League coming out next year. You gotta get some dust, okay? Ultra League, Master League. <laughs> I don't even know how I'm gonna be able to compete in those. But yes, this definitely like helps a lot. Now, the very nice people from the Dual Catchmon send me um, a package. Well, packages every couple of months to partially sponsor the uh, Tambayan Express. They give me like one unit, one uh, dual catchmon per month to like sponsor as a prize for the Tambayan Express tournament. And it definitely helps and the community, uh, you know, gains from it, like get something from it. Now, um, this is not like a paid sponsorship. They didn't really, they don't s like send me money. Yeah, they just send me like a unit um, to sponsor as a prize for the tournament, which I don't own. <laughs> so, but the thing is, I do recommend this uh, product. I wouldn't recommend it if it was trash. I've been using this for months now and it's just, it's amazing. Like it helps me out so much. And so if you want to check it out, I've got links in the pinned comment down below. Again, it's not a paid sponsorship. I do have some affiliate links there, which means that it does help the uh, channel, but it's like it's eBay affiliates. So <laughs> I mean, it, it's a, it does help, you know? And if you do want to check out this product, highly recommend it, especially if you, you know you play with your girlfriend, you play with your friends, and you know, you have like people to play with, okay? very helpful and so that's gonna be it for this video i'm pretty disappointed pretty disappointed i feel like i definitely like could have played much better but i'm working on it you know i'm always like uh fall down six times get up seven type of type of guy because you're only really defeated when you've given up because that that means there's no chance for you to win anymore right so i'm gonna keep at it i'm gonna work harder i'm gonna test 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 i just i really got hit with you know, the the meta shift. The meta shift really like messed me up because I, I had to make sure to get that video out for you guys. So, so I wasn't able to like test as much for this tournament. I had like two days. I had to use one day to get that uh, meta simplified guide, but it is what it is. I will try harder next time, all right? And so thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you learned something. Remember to leave a like, very important, right? Comment down below. Do you still want um timeless? cup content or are you like done with timeless uh do you want me to focus on uh fusion cup i could do some like team breakdowns for the timeless cup yeah but i'm actually like moving to fusion cup i think that i really should like start practicing now i actually have like one more timeless cup coming up but the thing is it's a remote tournament and if it extends past one day i don't think that i can i don't think that i can join it because i have like so much stuff happening in real life but Anyways, I can still make some timeless team breakdowns for you guys if you're if you're still interested in that. But if you want me to go uh, Fusion Cup, let me know. All right, subscribe if you haven't yet. Ding that notification bell, and I'll see you on the next one. Bye, guys.